Faculty of Medical Sciences of the University of Sri Jayawardenepura was established in 1993 as the sixth medical faculty of Sri Lanka. And over these past 27 years, the faculty has developed tremendously and now at present it is one of the most sorted medical faculties in Sri Lanka, attracting more than 80% of medical students purely on merit. At the Faculty of Medical Sciences, we do train students holistically. Last year, if when you take the common merit list, our students, the Faculty of Medical Sciences, USK students, have performed extremely well. Actually, when you take the first 100 positions and when you calculate with, with, with regard to the uh, student intake, we have performed even better than the Colombo uh, Medical Faculty. Convocation, we have about uh, 10 to 15 gold medals and prizes are, there, are being awarded to the best performing students. Other than that, like we have the uh, Seneca Bibile uh, Scholarship and Seneca Bibile Prize for the best performing uh, uh, student in pharmacology. So that price is there and we recently over the past few years there, had, there is a, uh, another scheme where it's student exchange program and in that with the uh, Uppsala University of Sweden where our students, two students who are performing uh, well in their academic uh, performance as well as we do consider the research and the uh, extracurricular activities and the two students after their final exam they will be spending uh, three months in the uh, Uppsala University. Very recently I would say uh, two years back that is in 2017 the physiology international physiology quiz uh, program where uh, about uh, I think about 100 countries take part the team sent by uh, the, our faculty, they obtained the second runner-up place. So over the past few years in the university, there was this trend in setting up uh, research centers. In our faculty, we have the Dengue Research Center, we have the uh, Cancer Research Center and CKD, chronic kidney disease of unknown origin and also the uh, the other non-communicable diseases research center with uh, this uh, COVID pandemic in the globe, uh, our virus research center led by Professor Nilika Malavige and uh, Dr. Chandima Jeevandara, they, we have performed uh, extremely well because I would say with regard to the RT-PCR testing immediately as in parallel to Medical Research Institute, even in our faculty we have started the PCR testing and we do large number of testing and also the uh, the sequencing of the COVID virus was done in our uh, virus research laboratory. So not only that, we have research collaborations with the almost the main universities, several main universities if I am to name, we have with uh, Oxford, we have with uh, uh, Harvard University uh, in States and also Cambridge in UK and uh, Monash, uh, Australia and also the uh, National uh, University uh, in Singapore. In addition to that, we do have an international student research conference where it is mainly focused on the student research where the students could uh, present and uh, won several prizes. With regard to the research awards, I would say uh, one of our own students uh, that is in the first batch uh, uh, Professor Bhavanta Gamage, now he is uh, once again he is in the uh, academic staff of the surgery department. In 2018, he, wo he won the uh, South Asian B uh, BMJ, British Medical Journal uh, Award, competing with about 1,500 applicants, and the best surgical team award was won by uh, Professor Bhavanta Gamage. With regard to the uh, uh, President's Awards, Research Awards, which is given for the higher publications in high impact journals. Every year, year we have about uh, 10 to 15 members within the Presidential Awards. And not only research, if I add to the, uh, say, their 
uh, I would like in nationally their contribution in promoting research and other academic uh, matters. I would say we do have uh, presidents and secretaries being in our all the professional colleges. Uh, giving leadership to these professional colleges like College of Surgeons or Sri Lanka Medical Association, I would say College of Pediatricians, uh, Obstetricians, uh, Family Physicians in all the fields and also with regard to even the basic sciences like societies of anatomy, the, uh, the anatomical society, the physiological society and the Institute of Chemistry. So the academic staff is involved in uh, this uh, giving leadership to these professional colleges. Yes, we do have a social responsibility. With the uh, 50th anniversary of the university, that is in 2009, we, we conduct a major uh, uh, medical exhibition, Vedasa 2009, in, uh, and held at uh, BMICH. And once again, when we were celebrating 25 years, our Silver Jubilee, again we conducted the Vedasa 2018 again at the BMICH. In other words, like with all the floods and that sort of things, uh, always our students get involved. And recently we have uh, sent students with the staff members conducting, uh, I would say, uh, health camps in uh, uh, northeastern part of the country and down south when they were uh, flood affected. Every time, like they collected, uh, collect uh, things and also they go and conducting the, uh, the medical camps and also giving uh, uh, like uh, preventive uh, health education messages. So that way we get involved. In every year, the students, they get together, then they conduct a Diriya Aruna, which is named as a social uh, uh, project where the students collect money or, and they, in fact, they go and they get involved in building a like maybe a library, maybe a science laboratory or maybe a set of classrooms in a very remote uh, school with uh, less facilities. So that is again where the students get involved and also they conduct the health camps with the support of the ac uh, academic staff at these remote places. So that is also the Diriyaru program. I think it's a unique program uh, done by our students in the faculty. Yes, once again, I would say we, uh, the academic staff of the faculty and their involvement in the national at every level, like uh, former vice chancellor of the university, Professor uh, Narada Varnasurya, I mean, he had led the university, and also the university grants commission uh, chairman, Professor Mohan De Silva, he has been leading the university grants commission. And also, I would say, like Postgraduate Institute of Medicine in Colombo, led by Professor uh, Jayanta Jayavardhana. So, our academic staff members, they get involved and they give the leadership in all these national level uh, affairs. I would say students, academically plus in other extracurricular activities, they perform extremely well. Our students, especially, they participate, they have uh, represented the country with regard to, say, sports like swimming, tennis and chess and they have won several awards also like uh, uh, in this uh, uh, sports uh, uh, with regard to sports events. Talents, where the, all the very talented students of, of, of our faculty, they get together and they put up this show which is named as talents. So I mean we every time it's a, like we have a variety fair with a lot of singing, dancing and uh, drama and everything and uh, we have gone to the very great heights. In fact the 2019 talents was held at Nelumpokune and always uh, uh, the, they perform extremely well and some of the academic uh, staff members also uh, perform with the students. Our students are good debaters. They have been in the, uh, I would say, the law faculty and the law college students. So these are great achievements and also they would be performing extremely well. So we do try to uh, uh, train our graduates holistic graduates and also they would be performing extremely well.